and we represent the greatest university in the world. Let's carry that pride tonight onto this field and let's play for Notre Dame. Let's play for each other and let's play for Our Lady. Our Lady, Queen of Victory. Hey, they're ripping at every ball. Time out, time out. Slide to your throws, you're stepping back. I was so focused on my front, I didn't even look. Yeah, I got down looking. Throws downfield, there's an open receiver. Caught! Fuller! Touchdown, Notre Dame! Just don't press cover that guy. That's ridiculous, Will. Right here, Mike. Right here. He's a touchdown. Touchdown, Notre Dame! The Irish find a way! Is everybody clear on that? Yes, sir. That's how we're playing today. I don't know what next week holds or the week after or three weeks down the road, but tonight, that's how we're playing this football game. Please welcome Notre Dame football head coach, Brian Kelly. Good evening. This year could not have been the year that we had without the next man in philosophy, one that we've had here for the last six years. But it came into play this year more times than we wanted to. And it's really the mantra that's in our locker room, the pride and the tradition of Notre Dame football will not be left to the weak or the timid or the non-committed. And that's the next man in. That person that's ready to step in when he's called upon. Because he's doing the work necessary. He's preparing for that opportunity to come in and continue to play at that highest level. And we had that happen so many times this year to so many players. And I think it says so much about the players, so much about uh, the support that we have here, that we all understand how Next Man In is so important. So with that, let's watch this video. On his way, he could be gone. The race is on, and CJ Procise is a clear... Two yards is never good enough for CJ. He's going to take two and make it four. He's going to take four and make it a touchdown. I'm almost like a spectator watching this guy go to work when I hand the ball off. Coaches hate me for it because I'm supposed to be carrying out a fake, but he, he, he's, he's just he's, he's awesome. Inside the 10, heading for pay dirt. He's one of those guys that it doesn't matter how you get him on the field, but he needs to be on the field because he's a playmaker. He started at safety and went to linebacker for a little bit, and when they started training him at running back, it was kind of like, I mean, well, why not? You know what I mean? It's an easier way to get the ball in this guy's hands. He's just a football player, you know. He adjusted real well, and, you know, once he gets that ball in his hands, that's a fun time for him. You never can predict where a season would be if all your starters were around, but we, we can definitely evaluate this season with all the backups coming in, and man, is it special. Guys went down, guys stepped in, and C.J. Procise is a great example of what is going on throughout our whole football team. He's pulling his warm-up off and running down the sidelines at full speed. Uh, like he's running the ball while Josh is actually on the field. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you just had a concussion. Like, stop running. Like, we need you, you know, back for the next week. I mean, that's the, you know, big bro right there. You know, when he scores, you know, we do the same thing. Uh, so that just shows you, you know, how we are as a group. He's a pure talent athlete. He's Coast guy. <laughs> and driving and fighting to the end zone and going in is CJ Procise. Next man in award goes to CJ Procise. Have a seat. All right. Because this deserves uh, a little bit of discussion. So congratulations, my friend. Um, nothing like rushing for over a thousand yards your first year as a running back. Well done. <laughs> right? Come on. So these folks, you know, they know your story. Safety to wide receiver to running back. Tell us how difficult that transition was. What was your biggest challenge? Uh, you know, just learning everything. You know, getting used to uh, different sides of the ball. You know, getting used to playing a position I've never played in my life before. And you just, it's something you gotta get used to and it's something I just wanna do to help my team. And coach, when you first saw CJ, I know you saw him dunking in basketball, right? The first time you saw him? Yeah. Well, we what were your thoughts? Well, you know, I thought, you know, he has a great athletic ability and that we'll figure it out when he gets here, what position, and it kind of turned out that way. It, yeah. We have to figure it out, and, and I think that that goes to uh, this award and, and that he was selfless. Uh, we moved him around. 
Uh, very easily could have been difficult uh, in the transition. Here's a guy that really established himself as a, as a very good wide receiver, um, but, but really said, I'll, I'll be a running back. I'll do whatever is necessary for the team. And I think that says a lot about CJ. Did you have any trepidation at first? Uh, you know, I was a little nervous at first, you know, just some playing running back, you know, something you got used to, and it's not, not an easy position to just transition to. But I, I thought, you know, at first, I'll you know, do it here and there. But it turned out to be I had to do it a lot more than I thought. But yes, it just you did. ended up being a good transition for me, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> you went from number three to, you know, carrying the load pretty quickly. So what was the highlight of your year among all of the great things? What was the best, best moment for you? Honestly, for me, it was seeing Josh run that touchdown, that 98-yard touchdown. I mean, just seeing, you know, my young, like, young guy I work, uh, you know, he's come through and we're working with and just being able to just be so excited for him. <laughs> just, it's been good. For, it was fun. <laughs> wow, what are, what are we looking at? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> what does it tell you about CJ that he answered that way when I say, what, what was your best moment at seeing another guy's success? Well, you know, that room is really close, and, and you could tell that they all – uh, are great kids and, and they pull for each other. But I think that that is this team, Team 127. You really can't have a next man in unless you have that kind of environment where the guys are pulling for each other. And uh, I think that that's what makes this a special group. CJ, um, wonderful year for you. Congratulations. And um, coach, what everything that you did and that you guys all pulled together, the tenacity that you showed, you represented Notre Dame so well. And I think you showed everybody a lot of the intangibles of what makes the school so special. And CJ, you epitomized that. So congrats. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> More Notre Dame football when we return.